So, a photo of uh, some holidays in France. It was uh, at uh, one of our meetings in Paris. Uh, the association of the Mafuchi Europe, we called it Europe because uh, we had lots of contact in uh, Europe. So it was founded in 1998 in France and uh, I was one with another father of the founders. I have been living uh, 37 years. Um, thinking I was alone in the world because uh, I am uh, from a rural uh, country and uh, the doctors always said uh, it was very rare so my, my parents didn't go on uh, researching uh, information but uh, when I was an adult uh, I wanted to know if there was something uh, some other people so I found, and uh, this uh, association was created. It's a non-for-profit or charity association. I don't know how to say or to call it because it's not the same system as yours. But we can raise money uh, for, for research, that's sure. Uh, we have 12 committee or board members. Uh, some of them are here. in. Uh, this uh, room, uh, an elected president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. There are 60 member families at the moment, and 30 plus casual members. Uh, I say this because sometimes people um, uh, contact us to have information or to have an address or of hospital or consultation where to go and then they live their life and they don't go back towards us. It's a, perhaps also a cultural uh, way of uh, acting, of uh, living. So this is um, where we are in France. Uh, I wrote for England 20, but perhaps it's less or more, I don't know. Uh, we are in contact uh, with some Italian families and uh, also Switzerland, uh, Luxembourg, Belgium. No one in Germany actually, well, uh, in the association, but on Facebook we can meet some people. And also in Spain. We have a scientific council board, uh, Dr. George Finibori, who is here today. Geneviève Bougeard, she is a genetician pediatric. Dr. Valérie Cormider, genetician also. Uh, Philippe Enrat, who is an uh, adult orthopedic and, uh, in Paris, and also Pierre Journaud in Nancy. Our relationship with other as associations in Europe, of course, yours here, also in Italy. Uh, in France with uh, Soulon, which is a national association supporting small associations of rare disease like uh, ours, and also Alliance Maladira, which is, which is a national association, more bigger. <coughs> um, our medical relationship and research, uh, we are in touch close touch with Imagine Institute in Paris and also Centre de Référence des Maladies Osseuses. I didn't translate it, but I think the doctors will talk about it this afternoon. And uh, we also participated in the research, in a research program of Dr. Sirop's team uh, into PTHRP, parathyroid hormone, related protein, in 2004. And I didn't write it, but today we are also participating to a pilot study. I don't know if it is the correct word, but um, all the people who accept to do an MRI for detecting uh, early glioma. 
because uh, uh, I think also it will be explained this afternoon. There is a relation between uh, two mutations, uh, which are called e IDH1 and IDH2, two mutations related uh, with the genome. A specific question, Matucci syndrome. Well, for us, it's not well known, and we have many questions about the cure. It's very, very difficult to, for people to have a cure in Matucci. Um, I met a woman who is a nana pathologist in Florence. Uh, she wrote a little uh, <coughs> literature, well, not a little, quite a bit, but uh, about Mafuchi syndrome. I think Charlotte has cut also this little uh, book I gave her, and she, yes, and she can share yes. some information. Um, I would like to talk about the psychological burden because very often it, we don't talk about it. We talk about it when we are all delivered. When the diagnosis is given to the parents, it is a very difficult moment because sometimes there is also some missed diagnosis. Less today, but <coughs> it may still happen. Um, a lot of questions have no answer or are difficult to answer. Guilt. Is this my fault? I have been exposed to chemical or something. We, we, the parents need to understand <coughs> why, but very often we, we can't understand why because it's somatic mutations and so no hereditary uh, disease. Um, some parents ask about emotional events in their life or so if it has. Um, has got um, something to do with disease. About the cure and the personal organization, what I can hear from the families that uh, contact me, uh, the day-to-day -day care required, <coughs> parents are facing the difficulties of organizing operations, treatment and physiotherapy, etc. Uh, above all, when they are far from a big city, uh, sometimes adapting your home and also choosing schools and uh, child care. Other questions that are important are how do I answer my child questions about the disease? How do I answer the questions of family, friends and associates? How do I face the day-to-day -day advancement of knowledge about the disease? Uh, this because uh, year after year new information are discovered. For example, uh, I, well, I will talk about my case, my situation, but when I was a child and a young adult, uh, I didn't know at all that uh, I could uh, risk a chondro sarcoma, for example. And, uh, the, the knowledge today is, uh, as you said, uh, well, uh, you, you can access on internet to all sorts of information, and I would uh, say that parents have to be careful and to protect their children to go on internet and to read all sorts of information that are not all, always uh, very good for their um, moral. Uh, situation and um, the question also of uh, do I need a professional psychological or medical help? Uh, lots of families in France are, um, are helped and go to a consultation uh, with the child or the child goes alone and uh, it helps a lot. Um, other considerations, self-confidence can be affected, school work may be interrupted sometimes. Either there is an overcompensation, the children overcompensate, they work very hard at school, they, they, they are very clever. And 
it may happen that some become disinterested. It's not, well, in what I can hear, it's not often, but it may happen. So, the dual burden of adolescence and the disease, uh, and the relationships with peers uh, at school, in the street, uh, when you have uh, so the disease quite severely, uh, when somebody is watching at you, can be difficult. <coughs> what about the future? For us, it's to work together to understand what we need to do to find a cure. And where rare disease means we have very little money for research, working together to pool our resources, we'll make the most of <coughs> what we have. So we are also here today to talk about this and to see how we can, <coughs> we can work together. And I uh, will thank you for listening to me. And uh, I will uh, say, life goes on. And this is a picture taken last year. Uh, I am in a group of theater. So uh, there is the disease, but there is also life. And uh, I think that we must uh, uh, live as uh, the best as possible and to enjoy life and all what we can enjoy. And, uh, it helps a lot also to support the disease. That's it.